Hey folks, this is Jason. Today I'm going to demo a little app that I wrote that fixes the line group numbers for connectors. Uh, sometimes when you're modeling you end up with welds like uh, this one that are unassigned or perhaps it's been assigned the wrong line number from uh, whatever reason. Uh, so we've got a couple of welds here that will be unassigned and uh, a bolt and gasket set here that are unassigned. Um, but we'll look at the piping here and we see that it does have the correct line number. Um, to run the command and fix these, uh, we type in FIXCONNLG for the command. We drag a window across our connectors and it doesn't matter if you get piping or anything else in here, it's only going to select the connectors and update those. Um, we've selected, now we're going to hit enter and then we'll examine our connectors to make sure that they've been changed to the correct line number and they have and that's pretty much it um, if, there, if the connector shares uh, a connection with a, a piping component like a flange and a valve uh, and the valve and flange have different line numbers the default uh, line group number will stick with the valve. In other words, if you have a gasket attached to a valve, the, uh, the gasket will assume the valve's line group number. Uh, just to show you how to get this set up, um, there are two files that you'll need. Uh, you'll need this DLL and then this Lisp file. Uh, copy those into your installation folder for Plant3D. And then to get it to automatically load into AutoCAD, uh, we're going to go to uh, App Load here. And you can just add that Lisp that I just showed you, which is right here in your installation folder. This Lisp right here. Add that to your startup suite here. And then that will automatically. Uh, give you access to the command which once again is uh, fix con lg right here fix connector line group and drag across your connectors that you want to fix and hit enter and they're magically fixed if you have any questions or comments uh, give me an email at wjasonhudson at gmail.com and let me know what you think. Thanks.